Um, this is now the five minute tarot for the 14th of October 2017. And today is going to be about a card. Um, the Five of Swords, partly because, or mainly because, <clears throat> Kari uh, said that she keeps getting this card and isn't quite sure what to do with it. So I get this email or the, the comment appeared a couple of days ago. And I was sitting this morning thinking about it and I came up with one word. I ended up coming up with one word, but I thought it might be useful for me to talk about things to show you or to tell you about how I arrived at the position that I arrived at. It's a, to give you an idea of um, maybe not that I want you or would like you to duplicate what I do because we're different people. But to, to show you one way of looking at a card and imagining and wondering, and those I think are the two words, because I was imagining what might what the card might mean or what the swords might show. And I was wondering, rather than wanting an answer, I didn't have any goal in mind. I didn't have any final outcome that I was looking for. I was just sort of letting thoughts come to me and making connections or remembering things I had thought about before or um, remembering things I had noticed that may have nothing to do with the tarot or anything. Okay, so it's a, it's a bit like what you do is or what you can do is you pick the card and you sit there and you see what comes to you or what ideas come to you, and you follow them through a bit, and maybe they lead nowhere, and that can tell you something. Um, or maybe they lead somewhere, and you make a connection that you hadn't made before, and you end up with, ideally, with more understanding of what the card represents. So that when somebody asks a question, you've got more that you could say. You're not going to say everything all the time, but it, it's more like it sort of gives you more uh, ammunition, I want to say, uh, even though I don't want to be violent. Okay, so what happened was I've got the Five of Swords, or the problem was the Five of Swords. Um, and so I'm thinking about the picture, and so I, I try to talk through what actually happened, even though I probably can't remember all of it. So... I think, okay, I've got five swords, but instead of thinking of the five of swords, I'm thinking five swords. So I've got five swords, not four, not three, not eight. So five swords. And then I thought, okay, there are 14 cards in each suit. Um, the ace suit is a 10 plus, the page, the knight, the king and the queen. So... The Five of Swords, in some way, might be five over 14 swords. So, but five over 14, 14, I couldn't help but think, 14 is one plus four, gets you back to, gets you back to five again. So maybe in its own way, the Five of Swords, or any of the fives, is five over five, which is one. So maybe fives in their own way represent a new beginning. It's time for a new start. Um, but it's not the ace, because with the ace, nothing came before it. But with the five, maybe it's a new beginning. So it's time for, when the five of swords comes up, it's time for a new start. But it's not a whole fresh beginning, because that's the ace. It's a new start, but you've been through one, two, three, and four. So you've got some experience of using a sword or understanding what swords represent. Okay, so, and at the same time, we've got the swords, we've got four suits. We have cups and coins, which are round, because the top of a cup is round and the coin is round. So round and circles, rep uh, is, that's the feminine. Whereas batons are straight and swords are straight as well. And that's the masculine. And so feminine 
with the feminine, you respond to circumstances. With masculine, you make things happen. So with the Five of Swords, it's time for a new beginning to do with how you make things happen. The other thing that occurred to me a, a few a little while ago was um, coins and cups are round, so it's a circle, so there's no beginning and no end. There's a cycle, let's say. It's a repetition. Whereas a baton and a sword, they've got two ends. So with a baton and a sword, you can have a definite beginning and an end point. And so we're not always going to make use of that idea with every cup card, let's say, or every sword. But it it occurred to me, let's say somebody wants to know, um, I've said, maybe they say, I hate my job, I want a new one. Is it going to work? If you pick one card for the answer to that question and you get a cup or a coin, it's round. So there's no beginning and no end. And it's as if the person thinks that a new job is going to solve the problem. But a coin and a cup are round. So the question about the job problem, there's no beginning and no end. So if they go and get a new job, they're just going to experience in the new position what's wrong Again, it's going to duplicate in the future what's wrong now. So the, it's a good idea to stay where you are and figure out what the problem is and how to go about improving it. Because if you don't deal with it here and now or in this particular job, you're going to take it with you to the new job because it's a circle. Whereas if we get a baton or a sword to do with that question, I want a new job, is it going to work? And you get that's a card that suit shows a beginning and an end. There's a start, a finish point there. So it's a bit like, yes, if you go, you're going to find that because sometimes some things are just bad and they're wrong and we ought not to be there and we're never going to fix it. So the person who gets a sword or a baton to do with the question about the new job, yes, find a new job and you'll find that there's an improvement because you've got a new beginning rather than having to go through the, the same stuff all over again in a new location with different people. So it's like the questioner has a lesson to learn, it's some kind of lesson, and maybe you pick a card to understand what kind of lesson it is. But if they go to the new place, they're going to take the lesson with them. And so there are, there are advantages to dealing with what it is that you're, the, the, the kind of situation that you're in. So with this five of swords, we've got five over five as one for an ace for a beginning. So it's time for Kari um, uh, to make a fresh start with the way she, she goes about making things happen. And because we've, the picture shows somebody in the distance has been hurt and somebody going off to comfort them and somebody in the foreground who has won, so to speak, it's a bit like it, the, the word that came to mind was consequences. And so it can be with the Five of Swords. Now is the time to make a fresh start and understand there are consequences to what you do. So that maybe with the A's, you do what you do and it doesn't matter what the result is. It's important that you take action. But with the five, in its, a new beginning in its own way can mean that it's important to now factor in other people or the results of action that you take because it matters. So it's not just you on your own in a vacuum and you do what you do and other people are affected and it doesn't matter. Now other people are affected and it does matter. So you have to be wiser and exercise discretion and be careful about what you say and what you do and what you set in motion and what you remove because there will be consequences because of your actions. And with the Five of Swords, it's useful or it's important to understand first that there will be consequences but also to think about what the the consequences will be or might be and make sure that you're going to be happy with the outcome, whatever it happens to be. Or maybe that you've got a plan B in action so that if you do something and it turns out one way, that's okay. But if it turns out another way, 
how are you going to respond to it? So it's a bit like thinking into the future to figure out what can go wrong or what can go right and how you're going to handle both situations. So the end result is one word, consequences are important or it's important to be aware of them. So that's one. That's what I came up with um, a couple of days ago, thinking about the Five of Swords and what it might mean. But the thing is, I've I've got my background and my experiences and my ideas, but you're going to have different experiences, background and ideas and things that you've noticed or things that's caught your attention um, or maybe things that you realize you don't understand or whatever it happens to be. So if you try the same kind of thing, take a card, for instance, but um, let ideas come to you rather than, and so wonder and imagine can be um, uh, useful directions that we give ourselves when we're going to, when we're going to figure out or think about what a card might mean. Uh, okay, that's it. So I'm I'm thinking at this point, it wasn't Carrie who asked. So whoever it was who asked that or left that comment, maybe you or if anybody else watching, if you have an if you've got comments, let me know. Or if you, what kind of sense does this make? Um. Okay, that's enough from me for the moment. So I'll talk to you in a couple of days. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye bye.